Arch has laid plenty of groundwork for future revenue, but for now, Mark Messler's most pressing challenge as CFO is conserving capital. You have to have the short-term discipline to sort of circle the wagons around cash. I mean, cash is, is oxygen. I know where every ounce of cash is going, and, uh, but we also have to be nimble around that as well because things change by the day. Archer went public in 2021 in a reverse merger with a SPAC, Ken Moelis's Atlas Crest Investments. Through August 2023, the company raised over a billion dollars from investors, including Stellantis, Boeing, United Airlines, and Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management. Does that ARK Investment open doors for you to, to bring in different kinds of institutional money going forward? It does. I mean, I think there's a lot of credibility that comes in with uh, an investor like ARK. As I think about you know, my top targeted list of, of investors over the next two to three years, an investment like that gives us some credibility and gives us a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of staying power as I go in and talk to other investors. With the SPAC pipe now closed, Arch is facing a new phase of raising capital. I know the folks who aren't willing to invest right now may have large uh, pockets of investment in the future. So I want to be in front of them. I'm wanting to show them progress. I want to create credibility with them that we're that we are marching towards our goals of commercialization. They may not be a buyer at this point, but I do want to spend a lot of time in front of that other set that is a buyer at this point. They're interested. They want to be an early adopter of the stock. Uh, they're interested in the story. Archer's stock performance this year suggests there's strong interest in the story, especially if it plays out as planned with FAA certification and commercialization by 2025. What happens if the FAA delays and you are not certified in 2025? So I would start thinking about cash, you know, cash preservation at that point. We've got the capital to weather a delay, but it just depends on how long that delay is. Of course, there's always a potential for it to take longer than expected. But the good news is there are other applications like the military that can provide diverse revenue streams. I'm confident that the FAA will move along expeditious process with Archer and with the industry to allow us to get to market on a time frame that makes sense. 